In this video we are going to build a basic form. This will involve three steps. First is to add input controls that we need to capture in our form. Second step is adding workflow to the form. And then the final step is linking the workflow to the submit button. So let us begin with the first step. Let's open an existing project and go to the builder. For this video series we will be building an inventory management application. So the first thing that we need to do is add a few controls needed to capture the product details in our form. Let me add these quickly. We need a text control for the product name. A text area control for the product description. A number control to capture the total product quantity. And a file upload control to add images of the product. Next we will add a submit button by searching for it in the control panel and dragging it to the form. Here we have our form ready. Now let us move on to the second step of adding a workflow. Workflow helps us define what should happen once a user clicks on that submit button. We need to select this workflow option and add a new workflow using this plus icon. Type in a name for the workflow and save it. It is important to note that the workflow should be created under the same screen on which the button is present. You can also add multiple workflows to the screen that can be called by other action buttons using the call workflow function. But in our case we need only one. Now click on the workflow to open the configuration. Since we want to capture the product items into the sheet we will select the update task and continue. Give your task a name. Here we will give it the name add product info. We need to select the sheet in which we need to insert the values from the drop-down. Sheet acts like a database that stores our product details. As you can see I have already created the sheet so I can go forward and select it. Since we want to add our records we will click on insert record. Now we need to assign values to all the columns of the selected sheet. Your input fields are available in suggestions when you start typing. Alternatively you can also find them under the task section in the F option. Now click on done and the workflow is configured. We can close this and our form is ready. Now in the final step we are going to link the workflow we just created to the submit button. Here in the properties we have this drop down option in which we will be able to see all the workflows that are created for this screen. Since we have created only one workflow we can simply select it. We also have these other properties of the submit button that we can modify to show a confirmation pop-up, or change the success callback, or even allow data submission when the device is offline. Let us look at the preview of our app. We need to select the dev environment so that we will be able to submit the data to the sheet. This is how our form looks. We need to select this submit data option to make sure the data that we enter gets submitted to the sheet. Let's add data to this form. Click on the submit button. This pop-up message shows that our data is submitted. Let us go and check if the sheet is updated. Here we need to select the dev filter to see the entry we just added. As we can see this new record is added to the sheet. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. For more information and videos, please visit our YouTube page.